Hello and welcome to Affinia 3D Printers. This is the third in a series of technical videos for setting up your Affinia H479 3D printer. Uh, this episode we are going to be talking about uh, loading and manipulating a model. How to get it into our platform and uh, scaling, fixing a model, making multiple copies, rotating, moving and saving. So what well, we can open up with our software are STL files, which I've termed as being basically the Adobe PDF of 3D CAD software. Uh, any, most any uh, 3D CAD software will output to STL. So you can do a file open here, or you can go to file and open through the menu bar. And I'm going to grab the first thing I'm going to do is show you about the fix utility, um, just to get that out of the way. And I've got one image that you can see. I've got a couple of red objects and a bunch of pink objects. Uh, the pink ones are ones that have no problems with any of their surfaces. Uh, the red ones they either have uh, some normals that are not aligned, uh, uh, some surface issues, and this gives you a warning to let you know that these are problematic. Uh, there's a special utility inside of the Affinia software here under Edit and Fix to where this will analyze the surfaces uh, and attempt to repair it or put it into a position where it'll print. So I'll go ahead and click Fix here. And this particular image, it was able to fix those surfaces to where it can print correctly. Um, you may find, depending on how the image was created, some of these uh, don't come out. It won't fix everything. You can try and rotate your model uh, in different ways uh, to get other areas mostly fixed. but point being is if it doesn't fix here, you can still print, but it's probably going to cause problems with your print. You're better off bringing that model back into your CAD software and uh, fix your surfaces uh, in, in the software. I'm going to go ahead and unload this one. And to unload, there's a few different ways to do that. You can do a right mouse click and unload there. Or with your model loaded, you can click unload here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up another model. And here we've got Venus. Um, to view her, we've got a few different ways of doing that. We can view her from the top, bottom, there's the ISO, and front, um, or we can, with our uh, left mouse button, hold and turn and be able to look at everything here. And then using our mouse wheel, we can zoom in and we can zoom out. By holding control key, right mouse click, I can move our image around here. You can also use arrow keys for doing that. And use uh, control key and my arrow keys to move the model around as well. If I get it in a position where I don't care to see it that way, I can just click ISO and it will automatically center and give you a 3D uh, dimensional look at the print. Um, as we're here, there's these items across the top for uh, scaling, rotate, move, and scale is a very, very useful tool. If you have click scale, in this drop-down box, it'll give you a range of numbers. 
It will also help you convert inches to millimeters or from millimeters to inches. And uh, or you can do 30% scaled up to you know, doing it 10 times larger uh, than it is. Um, so I'm going to scale Venus. I want her to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to go ahead and put her in at 1.5 and I'm going to click scale again. And oh, now we've noticed here that she's gone below our platform and that's going to be a problem for when we try to print. One of the really nice utilities that we have with our software here is this place. If I click place, it'll automatically put her back onto the work surface. And this gives you uh, proper alignment for uh, layering, uh, slicing, and uh, uh, sending that image to the printer when we're ready to print. Um, if we have uh, multiple copies we'd like to do, you can insert, right mouse click on the image, click insert copy, and select the number of copies you would like to add. I'm going to go ahead and select three copies and you can see that we've gotten four Venuses with one plus the, the three we added. And say this is a uh, combination that I want to print on a fairly regular basis. I want to print all four of them at the same time just because I'm, I'm doing them over and over. Uh, here you can go under edit and click merge and you can see it turns all four of them pink and that will allow me to uh, go ahead and save these as a full merge file and it will save it as a UP3 file uh, which is a, um, a condensed version proprietary version of the STL files you can bring this in only in through the Affinia software. I'm going to click cancel for now. And you know what? I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unload her. I'm going to go ahead and bring her back in. And you see here, this will save your last few STL files. And uh, I can just bring it in that way. Um, getting back to our top here, so I've shown you scale, and just again to do that, I'm going to scale her up to 120%, click scale again, click place, there she is. Uh, rotate. Rotate allows you to rotate on any one of these axes. So you've got the Z, the Y, the X. And here is the number of degrees positive or negative that you want to rotate. And I'm going to rotate her by 180 degrees and I'm going to go ahead and rotate her on the y-axis and show you that I can put her on her head. I can click that again and it'll put her back. Or I come over and I click the z-axis and make her turn around. If you have small moves you like to do on this, you can do the 5%. You can type in the, any number you want. I can do 3 degrees and continually click here and I can move her that way. Um, so that's the rotate, that's the scale. Place again, places her on the platform. I can move her by holding the control key down, left mouse clicking on the object, and you'll see that there's a pink area that shows up underneath her. It's right down here. And just by left mouse click, holding the, the left mouse down, I can drag her to any part of the platform. And that way it's good, this is good to do if you have different models you want to load in. So I've got this model, and I'm 
going to bring in just one of the spare part files that we ship with our software. This is the wind barrier uh, fan. So here now you can see I've got both of those on my platform. I can click place and it will automatically place them where they need to be. Now if I'm printing this and say I want to save time by compacting these down as close as they can come. Again I can hit control, drag her in just a little bit more. I don't want to get them too close to where they cross into each other's uh, paths, um, but I can make them fairly close. Uh, one thing you noticed when I did left mouse click on the object, it gives a description of your object, tells you what the, the name is, what the location, and what the uh, dimensions are. So this is really good is if you're trying to scale to a specific dimension uh, and you, you want to double check it to make sure that you're at the right dimension, you can use this uh, to simply show you how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and unload my wind barrier. I'm going to go ahead and click place here to put it automatically back into the middle. Move here. It's just another way to do this via the keystrokes. I find that it's easier just to hit the control key, left mouse click, and move her that way. Um, that's it for loading and manipulating a model. Thank you very much.